Hey there everybody, it's me, Ira, and I'm back in the world of Vintage Story. Welcome to the jungle, my friends. Welcome back to the jungle. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, Ira, Ira, please, please, this torrent of content, this Vintage Story videos, there's just too many. They're coming out too often. I can't possibly keep up. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm doing my best to kind of uh, sort of modulate it a little bit. Just try to, you know, keep a, keep a regular sort of schedule going without overwhelming you all. Uh, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'll try to, I'll try to take it down a notch uh, in the future. Um, but welcome back. It's, it's, it's been a little while. It's been a little while since so we've been in here. I've been busy though. I've been a busy little bee. Um, I have done some building. I have done some building. So um, I'm not entirely happy with this little structure right here. I'm trying to, I don't know, I'm trying to kind of make everything look good. <laughs> And I'm not very good at this. Uh, I made I made a little uh, cellar here. Did make a little cellar, and it's it's just a little one. I did make a storage vessel, and I've got a little bit of food in here. It does help, even in the jungle, to keep stuff underground. So this pot of cooked food only had about a day left. When I put it in here, it's got almost five days left. And uh, I just found and killed a wild boar. So I'm putting this uh, meat in here uh, for now. And then when I run out of this, I'll cook this up into some more stew. And that'll be all good. Let's come on back up here. I'll uh, show you around the rest of the place. Show you around everything else that I've been up to. So inside the house, I've moved my storage inside my little shack here. Got my plant stuff, got my ores, uh, got my wooden crafts. Got some, just some, just a box of dirt. Who, who doesn't need a box of dirt in their house, right? Clay, a little bit empty at the moment. All the stone stuff, uh, just raw wood and animal products that are not perishable. And then over here, I made this whole new structure, which I haven't really started to use yet. This chest is going to be for food stuff that doesn't need to be... Oh, wow. Even the grain is only good for 30 days. <laughs> the the soybeans, I don't know, maybe I'll move those down to the basement after all, and I'll put something else up here. Uh, I've got, this has actually got a little sort of chimney on the top. I'll show you from the outside. I had fun building this little structure. I did it all legit. It took a long time to, to collect all the grass for the roof and stuff like that, but I think it, it looks nice. And uh, I made sure to lift it up a little bit over here so that no bad guys can get in. We do have monsters spawning now. I haven't actually fought any. I've only seen one. The drifters are not that big a threat. And actually, I probably should be fighting them uh, to get that easy flax, because we I, I've made some farm fields over here. Got my little bit of terra preta. And my other stuff. I, I put some water down. I made a little sort of water feature here. I'll go around the back and show you the, the source of the water. Kind of the idea is I want to terraform up. Oh, by the way, by the way, this turned out to be a wonderful thing. Look at this. We've got the sparkly water. I'm not sure what dictates where the sparkly water will be, if it's just what biome you're in or if it's just random chunks on the map or what. Uh, there was no water here, but I put down some water and it turned sparkly, which I love. I love swimming in sparkly water. Uh, no crops planted here just at the moment. I need to move some, actually. But here's the uh, the house from the outside. This sort of long structure here. Oh, all the bamboo has come up. Okay, that's great. All the bamboo has come up. Uh, so here, here's where the water comes out. we got like a little spring <laughs> coming out of some, some cobbles down here. I had fun building this. We've got a little bridge going over it. I just think, that I thought this was nice. I would love to sort of terraform this whole area. I need to cut down some of this bamboo, though. Some of this bamboo is a little bit too much bamboo, honestly. Uh, I need to go down to where the crops were growing. There's a little bit of water from before. I now have the ability to move. Oh, I do. I have some. I have some mature rice. Wonderful news. Mature rice. Got that. Some more mature rice. Spectacular. Some mature soybeans. Excellent. More mature soybeans. This is all very good news. Oh, I've got this terra preta as well. I do have a mod installed that lets you pick up the farmland uh, just because it seems silly to me to waste it. So I am gonna, you know, it's so hard to find it. I don't I don't want to lose it just because I'm moving my farm. So these cabbages still got a bit left. This rice has got a bit left. These cabbages got a bit left. I'll leave the rest of this here. I'll just move. I'll, I'll put the terra preta in a box for now and uh, just sort of simulate the time that it would take for the nutrients to come back, right? Uh, so what have we got? This is... K vitamin and K vitamin. Okay, so I'll, I'll just plant these both here. There we go. And those will grow a bit faster here. 
And this will be my, my vitamin K. It might be the only vitamin that I have access to. Let's put the Terra Preta in the dirt box. Because it does, the, the reason that you normally can't pick up farmland is because it does uh, regain all of its nutrients. But this was low on nutrients. So I'm gonna go ahead and just just put that away for now. Let's put the rest of the food downstairs. It's inventory management, folks. That's what you come here for. That's what everyone comes here for. That's the, that's the name of the game. The inventory management game. So yeah, seven years, three years, as opposed to 30 days. That's the difference it makes, having a basement and a clay vessel to keep your stuff in. Uh, so what I thought I would do today is go and look for more seeds. I need more seeds to kind of fill this area in. Now, the direction I haven't gone in yet is, let's see, this will be east. This is east. Oh, and the sun is actually getting a bit low, so I may wait until morning to do that. Hmm. Hmm. What else can I do with my time? Uh, these are empty now, right? Yes. Yeah, so pick these up. Let's go get some proper tools. Maybe start moving some more stuff inside. And then we can sleep through the night. And, uh... Yeah, we don't we don't need to have all this out here anymore. I can move it all inside. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I don't see an easy way to show you. You know what I'm gonna do? Do you know what I'm gonna do? Of course you don't. I haven't done it yet. Uh, where are the? Here we go. Hey, hey, hey! It's hey. I'm just gonna come over here. I just want to show you. I'm so proud of this little structure I made on the roof, so that it looks, you know like a proper roof, but also it, it keeps the rain out, but it also lets the smoke out. There we go. So, oh, I can't really see. Let me go to the side here. I'll go to the side, give you a little tour. Uh, so there you can see. There's this kind of sticks propping up the stone part, and the smoke comes out the side. It's great. I'm quite proud of that. I just, whoops. Oh, that hurt. That did hurt a little bit. It's fine. I'm okay. I just sprained my ankle a little bit. Just a little bit of a twisted ankle. I've endured worse and survived. I'll be okay. Um, so we'll let the sun get low in the sky. This one's here. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with the reed baskets. Maybe I'll put them over over here. And we'll put the firewood here. There we go. A little bit low on firewood, but I could very easily make some more. I have tons of wood. I don't know if you noticed. I cut down a few of the big k trees, and I just got... Quite a bit of wood, quite a bit of bamboo left. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, so that's pretty much what I've been up to. Basically what I've been up to, take this down. I'm gonna go ahead and just like start properly moving this stuff. We'll we use, there we go. We we'll use an ax, we we'll use an ax, friends. We've just learned the proper tool for removing a campfire. Uh, can I just pick this up? No, I gotta break it. Just break it with my fist, fist of fury. Can pick up. We can pick up the bronze anvil like this, and just carry that inside. Oh boy, it is heavy though. Oh boy, it is heavy. I think I'm okay to climb the ladder. I can't open doors when I'm holding the anvil. Crap. All right, hold on. Can I put it on my back? I cannot put it on my back. All right, I'll put it right here for now. You gotta remember to leave the doors open when you're when you're moving stuff around. It's important. Okay, lift with the knees. Lift with the knees, not with your back. Don't lift with your back. You're gonna have a bad time if you try to do that. Uh, we'll put this, how about right here? Whew. We'll put that there. The wood away. Yeah, so I got you just in time for the inventory management. I knew you folks wouldn't want to miss the inventory management portion of the video. So I brought you in just in time. It's just so much, so much stuff. That could stay out here. We could take the gears inside. Sure, why not? Take all these. Oh, look how much cleaner it is out here. Do still have all the charcoal, which is fine. Uh, maybe I'll bring the charcoal inside. I think I'll, maybe I'll use one of these reed baskets for all these molds for now. Um, so another reed. Put I'll put all the tool things in there. Uh, actually, whoops! I did not mean to throw that on the floor. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was rude. Put my money over here by the bed. Put the money by the bed, right? For sure. And yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll just go ahead and dig up the charcoal. There we go. There we go. Good, decent amount of charcoal here. 
now I'll, all of the sort of metal working fill in this ugly hole. Disgusting. Disgusting hole. I'm disgusted by that hole. Move all the metal working inside. It is finally getting properly dark here, but that bed, I only have the uh, hay bed still. Actually, oh no, I don't have enough flax twine yet to make the... Do I? Wait, hold on. I think you only need one... Hold on, what's what's the recipe? Hold on, what's the recipe? Wooden bed. Yeah, okay, I only need one piece of linen. It may be worth... Just going ahead and... Uh, making a wooden bed. Where's the planks? I love how this game lets you have multiples. There we go. Pick up this old, this old straw bed. We don't need this. This is not very comfortable at all. It's no wonder I couldn't sleep. And I can just go right to sleep now. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, there we go. Good, good morning. That's ah, still not quite morning. <laughs> all right, how are we doing? Oh, it's so beautiful. The stars. Stars are so nice. Um, presumably the sun will be up pretty soon. Because that wooden bed should pass, yeah, 7.8 hours. That is almost a recommended full night's sleep, which is pretty good stuff. Uh, so what I'm planning to do, once the sun is up, we'll head out to the east, where the sun will be rising from at some point. Do we see any drifters out here? It's so dark, it's hard to see anything at all. Don't see any drifters. If I see any drifters, I'm probably just, just kind of go and kill them. I'll probably just kind of go and kill him, because, you know, um, oh, I, am, I am hungry though. Uh, they drop flax, okay. So I can go, this is where you can spend some time. Go down into the basement, and just get some more food. Because I'm hungry. There we go. That should help. So I've got a little bit of cob, I've got a little bit of dirt. What else do I need to bring with me? Any drifters? I don't see them. If you folks see any drifters on your screen, uh, well, I'd be very impressed because YouTube generally darkens videos and it is just so dark. I really miss uh, when this game, there was a period of time when this game was lightened, the gamma was turned up, um, so you could actually see a little bit at night without horrible, horrible eye strain like we've got now. Uh, and they changed it back, so it's now dark again. They, they say it's for realism, but honestly, it just gives me a headache and makes me unable to play for part of the game day. So, you know, uh, they said they said that you can you can use a setting to change it back, but I tried that and it definitely did not uh, did not work. So, so much for that. Uh, it made the lighter parts lighter, but the parts that are dark remained very, very dark. So it actually made it even harder to see when I turned the gamma up. What can we do? All right, so I've got a pick, I've got an axe, I've got a shovel, a knife, and a a tin bronze spear. That's probably enough. Got a bowl with meal. Man, I'm still just using hand baskets. I really could use some more flax. Uh, if we get really lucky, we'll find some ruins that may have flax seeds in them. Let me check on the other crops, see if maybe overnight any more of them popped up and I can move them over. It would be nice to not have to rely on hunting and killing boars for survival. Although I am doing, I am doing well. I will say I'm doing well. 11 of 12, 11 of 12, we're so close. Not quite there though. Man, this sun has taken ages to rise. I'll tell you what, folks, I think I'll use a little bit of the magic of video editing and we'll just cut to daytime. All right, now you do have to admit, you do have to admit, my friends, that is a real beautiful sunrise. That is a really beautiful sunrise. All right, it's very slowly starting to get light enough to see. Uh, I did, by the way, I also grabbed the hay bed out of the chest in case I get stuck out out in the wilderness at night. Hopefully that won't happen, but it might happen. You know, it happens. Uh, let's just let's just get moving. Let's get going. Uh, I am gonna come over here and check on the boars while we're while we're heading out and heading east. Uh, I've made a little torch path just to to help me find my way back easily. I still need to make a path down here, um, but actually I was thinking of perhaps perhaps not making a path down here because it turns out I have discovered. Um, that these these friends down here are not loaded when I am at my base. They they must be just out of range. Cause it's really not that far, but they must be just out of range. So they're not eating and breeding while I am at my base. So I think what I'm gonna probably do find some excuse 
Okay, we got two. We got two boars. Uh, two sows. But I, I'm, I'm having trouble getting them to eat enough of the, uh, the, the hay to be ready to mate. I think they need saturation of eight in order to get pregnant. So I think what I'm going to do, not on camera, but off camera, I'm going to find something to do in this area. Maybe I'll just harvest a whole bunch of wood or something like that. Uh, or maybe dig around, look for a little bit of copper or something. Um, and wait for them to get pregnant, wait for them to have their babies. And then I will drive the babies over to the base. I'll prepare an animal pen area because I think that that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Trying to drive the adult or anywhere is a nightmare because sometimes they'll run at you and sometimes they run away from you. Whereas the babies always run away from you in a straight line. So you can just very easily guide them towards where you need them to go. So off camera, I'll probably do that. By the way, there was another boar that had fallen in here. That's where I got that meat that I've got over at the base. Um, I figured I would just kill it and take its meat because, you know, I gotta live. I gotta eat something. So let's go. We're heading out. Uh, the goal for now is just to get as many seeds as possible, honestly. Just get as many seeds as possible um, and take them back and plant them. It's not a, a super impressive lofty goal, but I'm gonna, you know, it's ne it's needed. I need to- oh, hello chicken. I'm actually not gonna kill you because I, I'm, I'm focused. I'm on a mission right now. So you, you can stay alive for the, for the time being. Got all these cattails here. I don't actually need cattails anymore at the moment. I will, you, you will recall, I did find a beehive. So I will need cattails to make skeps, but that's basically the only use for cattails that I have at the moment. Ooh, it is getting framey as it's, as it's loading in these new chunks. Try to take it slow. By the way, I did have one person comment on uh, one of my previous videos that I was swinging the mouse around too much and it was causing motion sickness. Motion sickness is something that I have trouble with when I watch videos, people playing Minecraft and stuff, so I try to be very conscious of it and not to swing the mouse around a lot. Uh, if anyone else is also having trouble, please do let me know. I was told- oh, there's more boar here. Look at these. Look at all these. Maybe I'll- I'll get them- I'll get them in a- we'll do- we'll do another one of these little- little boar traps. Oh my goodness. I need- I need more, uh, I need more grass. Hold on. Two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, if- if a lot of people are having trouble with that, please do let me know. Don't be afraid to let me know. I don't want people getting motion sickness from watching my videos. Um, I, it was recommended that I could try to reduce the mouse sensitivity, but if I do that, it's actually a lot harder for me to play because of my wrist issues. So, all right. Can I get you this way? <laughs> can I? Can I just? No, no, no! Oh, wait! Did she fall in? No. Where'd she go? This is what happens when I don't swing the mouse around fast enough. She, she gone. She gone. Oh my goodness! Completely gone. What? What happened? <laughs> She's not down there. Alright, let's try these other ones. I, I don't want to kill them right now. So, line, let's line it up. Get get in the hole! No! Dang! Hole's too small. The hole's too small. No, no, no. Turn around, turn around. Okay, here we go. You gonna chase me now? Yes. Good. Keep chasing me. <laughs> Fall in the hole. Oh no, she lost interest! This is so much work. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should just- and the other ones have already caught up and moved away. Maybe I should just try to remember that there are boars over here. It's not like I'm far from the base. They're not gonna go anywhere. Um, okay. I'm gonna do- I'm just gonna keep- I gotta stay focused, I gotta stay on task. I'm just getting beat up for no reason. <laughs> It's harder than you might imagine to, uh, to trap the boars. So, the boars, the boar. I've heard both plurals. I've heard it pluralized with an S, and I've heard it 
you know, like moose without a plural. I know it is a little bit choppy. Oh, look at this. There's a whole mountain over here. It's a little bit choppy. It's a little bit framey right now. Apologize for that. Doing my best. We've got forge vessel. What do we got in here? Nothing fancy. Nothing special. I could really use some seed vessels. Seed vessels might have, like, flax seeds. I don't really care about the pumpkin seeds. Oh, I see... I see rice over here. Rice is easy to spot from a distance. I appreciate that. Um, there we go. Get these seeds. Yeah, I haven't come over this way, really. So this is going to be an interesting adventure. I am still trying to... Uh, Stay in the jungle as much as possible, just to keep that challenge, the original challenge of living in the jungle. It is tough, because as I've mentioned, whoop, uh, the game doesn't, you can't generate a whole world that's just one biome type. I hope that maybe one day they'll add that. I know right now they're working on version 1.13, and they're adding a whole ton of cool stuff, including a persistent map, which I'm very excited about. Is that chicken up there? Those are chickens, okay. There's so much, there's so much, so many animals. Oh, I see. I do see rice, though. I don't think there's really any shortage of uh, meat in this world right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm okay. I forgot about that. I forgot about the uh, horizontal instability. I still see. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pillar up a little bit. I see one more rice up there. I think we may have lost some of the rice. And we might lose... We might get knocked down a little bit here. Okay, I got, I got, I got a single rice seed. Good. Good, good, good. Um, I'm gonna head back down and kind of try to go around the mountain. It seems... Some copper. Try not to get distracted. I just want to get as many seeds as I can. Hey, chickens. I want to get a proper little farm going, because it does take a little while for the crops to grow. And, uh, oh, it's raining. I love it! I love the rainy sounds. I love the wind in the, in the leaves. So nice. Uh, more copper here. There's copper everywhere. Um, I could use some more tin. Whoop. Just kind of gently lowered myself into the water there. Um... Remember, my original goal, just because I wanted to give myself a lofty goal, was to make a full set of iron armor. And I have realized just, just how lofty that goal is. It might not be doable. I can certainly at least try to make a full set of copper armor. And then we'll see where we are. Because if version 1.13 comes out, and I haven't finished this goal, I will probably abandon the goal and move on to the new version of the game. I mean, I think, I think that's rational. I think, you know, it would be more entertaining for folks to see me uh, try out something totally new rather than grinding away at something in an old version. All right, so we've got a coast here. We've got a great big body of water. I don't know if I should go across for now. Now, this probably is difficult for you all to see. This is even giving me a little bit of motion sickness, but that's just kind of part of the the way the game works, the mechanics of it, the way motion works, the way the jungles work, all those fluffy leaves. Did I just... I thought I just saw some rice. I did not. Okay. It is also extra framey for me. I, I think it wasn't actually, uh, while I was playing without recording, I didn't have too much trouble with frame rate issues. So I do think that part of it is just when I'm recording. My computer and my video card can only handle so much. There's, there's so much beauty and my computer can only handle so much beauty. Uh, so I think I've managed to prioritize OBS, which is my recording software, so that there should be Less frame rate issues. What we got over here? There's, there's more chickens. There's more chickens. Hey, chickens! Is that an egg? <gasps> That's an egg. I'm gonna take your eggs. Eggs do not hatch, by the way. Important thing to know: eggs do not hatch. You are not uh, killing any baby chicks by uh, cooking and eating the eggs. The the chickens breed the same way all the other animals breed for the moment. 
There is a nest box item in the game. I don't think you can actually find it in the world. Got a trader over here. I'm not really worried too much about trading, but what do you got there, friend? Leon's survival trader, good. Okay. Buys bread, flax, feathers. We'll sell a linen sack, would be nice. It's only two gears, too. I didn't think to bring any gears with me. Black bronze axe. Yeah. You get some nice stuff in here. What's your name? What was your name? Loon. I thought it was Leon. No, it's Loon. Loon, I am uh, impressed with your stuff that you got in there. I don't have any of the currency that you use for trading. I don't have anything to sell you. So this is where we part ways. <laughs> I head out this way. All right. Oh, there's some more uh, rice. Here we go. So I'm doing okay. I've got eight seeds. So home is approximately that way, I would say. I ha I'm, I'm pretty good with the sense of direction in these. I think I've said this before. In games that are based on a grid, my sense of direction is great. In games that do not have a grid, I've got a big open plane here. I'm going to try to stick more to where the trees are and the bushes. Keep the challenge alive, you know. If I, go, if I go too much that way, not only does it become easier to see, but I'll start to find other types of food. Um, which, again, the challenge is jungle. Live in the jungle, live off the jungle. The jungle will provide all you need. There's plenty of animals in the jungle, and I can get some rice. Plant the rice seeds. Not that many, not that many uh, rice plants growing, though. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. goodness. Walking through, I swear, walking through these, these kind of bush areas with just little bushes and not trees is more disorienting to me than walking through an area with all the big trees. Man, there's really just nothing here. And I haven't seen any more ruins either. Really kind of hoping, hoping against hope that I might find some, uh, Fire clay. Is that fire clay? No, that's blue clay. No, wait. Which is it? It is blue clay. Okay. <laughs> I always think it's fire clay. It's not. It's just regular clay. Not that there's anything wrong with regular clay, but if I find fire clay, I should make a note of where it is. Because I will eventually need that for iron, won't I? Yes, I will, is the correct answer to that little rhetorical question. Alright, we're still in the jungle. We're still in the trees. I think going east-west is truly the best way to stay in the intended biomes. Because if you go north-south, then you start to change the temperature, and you start to change the humidity, and you wind up in the open plains or something, and then it's not the same challenge anymore. East-west it is. And yet, um, not finding, not finding much of anything here. Not doing super great. Uh, but yeah, so this this trip, I'm specifically, yes, I'm specifically looking for rice, like this right here, getting some seeds, very important stuff. Uh, next trip out, I'll probably look for metal and start picking up all that copper. There's a lot of rice here. Look at this. Did every single plant just give me a seed? That was amazing. I've got 14 seeds now. That was uh, nearly double what I had. Very good. Very cool. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to need a ton more metal if I want to start making armor. And then to get iron, not only do I have to locate iron in the world, the prospector's peg or something, uh, but I also need to go deep, deep down underground to mine it, and that's where the big, scary, dangerous drifters are. Those are the drifters that, like, they'll mess you up. They'll, like, one-hit kill you, so you need the armor. The armor makes you move real slow. So it's, it's all very complicated. It's, it's, it's quite the challenge. Trying to get iron at all can be quite a challenge. Rice! What's up, Rice? You're coming home with me. Or at least your seeds are. Many generations of your children and your children's children will feed me. So thanks for that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Pretty soon I'm going to have to kind of turn around and start heading back. Because it's going to start to get... Ooh, it's starting to get a bit darker. Maybe I can get to some high ground here and just take a look around. See, see, high ground doesn't help that much, does it? Because we get, we're in a, we're in a dang jungle. It's just leaves everywhere. 
Oh, it's so pretty though. Here we go. This direction is nice. Hey folks, have I ever mentioned that this game is super beautiful? I feel like maybe I've mentioned it. Go a little bit further. See what I find. Did I just see... I saw some particles that looked like they could be bees, but I think maybe they were just regular particles. Yeah, they're just regular particles. No bees here. No bees here. Okay. <laughs> I heard my own footsteps. The volume is turned down quite low on my speakers so that the microphone doesn't pick them up. Heard my own footsteps and thought they were bees. That's where we're at right now. That's that's where life is, has brought us. Okay. We're starting to get into a very hilly area. How far am I going to go before I turn around? There's more, more copper here. There's no sense in trying to mark where I find all the copper, copper and stuff. Copper is common. When I set out looking for copper, I'm sure I won't be able to find any. And we have come to the end of the trees. Let's just come up on this rise and look out and see what we see. Let's see what we see. Oh yeah, this is just plains here now. Foggy plains. So I'm gonna stop... Stop going east. We'll, we'll kind of move... Uh, south a little bit here. And then turn and go back west and head back home. There's more boar over there. It's fine. If anything, this trip is, is showing me that I really don't need to worry about food. If I really start having trouble with food... Uh, start running low, which I don't think I will at this point. I can truly just head east or west and keep walking until I bump into some more wild boar. Oh, I think I just call, caused a small cave in. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. Sorry about that. You gotta be careful. The ground beneath your feet is not always super stable. Sometimes all you gotta do is step on a patch and you just a giant sinkhole opens up beneath you. Which is startling, but it's also quite amusing, I find. Not finding a lot on this trip. But, uh, I did... I did get... What have I got? 17 seeds already? That's pretty good. It's a lot more than I had. I think I had like four or five seeds. Rice seeds before now. I kept finding rice near the base and then being like, Oh, I'll leave this here. I'll just leave this here to grow, which is probably... I keep feeling like I hear bees, and maybe I do, and maybe it's just the wind in the leaves. I am not sure. Oh, it's little babies! Hey, babies! You're way too far from my house for me to chase you home. So you, you guys just have, a, just have a nice little life out here in the jungle. <laughs> maybe I'll come across you someday when you're full grown. And yeah, maybe I'll eat you. And maybe I won't. You know? I, I'm, I'm, I'm unpredictable like that. I don't know what my situation is going to be like when that happens. If that happens. Alright, oh, we're back here. Okay. So this, this wide body of water. I actually went around it. I went that way. Interesting. Am I, I'm not turned around, am I? Am I going the right way? Get a glimpse of the sun. Yeah, this is this is west, right? Oh my goodness. So dense this foliage. Yeah, there's the mountain. Okay. I just went really far. And I went all the way around this body of water. That's bananas. Look at that. I must have been way over there. Wow. Mountain is really nice. Oh, there's, I see rice. Quick, detour. Pit stop. Rice stop. I am probably not going to get home before dark, so we might have a little bit of a a spooky a spooky stroll through the jungle. Watching out for drifters. And then killing them for their precious precious Oh no! Well, I guess I'm not getting any more of that. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a waste. That was a waste. I'm not going to try to climb up to get... Clam. Uh, these shells can be turned into... Uh, you can grind them up into... Lime? It's not very much, and it's not nearly enough, but... It's something if you get desperate. Uh, you do need that to tan leather. 
So that is something I'm going to need to do at some point. In my quest to make armor. I don't have to start tanning. So that also means at some point I need to try to find a biome that has chalk or limestone. Because you're really going to need a lot of it. Trying to get it from shells is, is not going to be a productive endeavor. Alright. Here we go. It is getting dark. It is going to get... I'm not that far from home at this point. It's going to start to get real hard to see. Okay, it's raining. Raining gently. I love the gentle rain. Every time I'm playing Minecraft, it starts raining. I miss this game. I'm like, why am I playing Minecraft when I could be playing a game who does rain in a pleasant way? And not in a horrible garbage way that drives me crazy. Oh, oh we got a ruin here. This is, this is seeds. What kind of seeds have I got? Give me the seeds. What'd I get? It's just more rice seeds. Okay, I mean, rice seeds, it's not bad to have more rice seeds, but I was, I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping for something I can't just find on the ground. Sheesh. Honestly. Oh well. I'll survive. That was lucky. It's, it's hard to come across the, uh, ruins in the middle of the jungle. Especially because the trunks of the kapok trees is basically the same color as the granite cobblestone. <laughs> it just blends right in. Alright, come on now. I think this video is probably running a little bit long, but I wanna I wanna prove that I can get back home. Without without getting horribly lost. I should pretty soon, I think, come out into that open plains. From which from which position it will be very easy to get home. I think it should be just about there. There we go. Oh, look at that, there's more rice! Rice! A bounty of rice. Get this one, get this one, there was nothing. It's fine, this is probably gonna fall down. Oh, it didn't. Alright, well, I got like, one more one more seed, I think. Here we go! We're out in the plain. The sun is setting. We just gotta cross over here. And then, honestly, I'll probably even be able to see Torchlight to guide me all the way back to my base. Have some, uh, some torches here and there. Oh, have I found this one? Have I found this one? Yes, I have. <laughs> Which tells me I am very close indeed to my home. In fact, I think it's this way. How good is Iris' sense of direction? Find out in just a moment. I feel like I know right where I am. But I could be wrong. It would be very embarrassing for me, but it has happened before. On rare occasions... Nah, here we are. Exactly where I am. Oh! Oh, hello! Look at this! I don't even think I captured these. I think they just wandered in. Maybe even spawned in there. Spectacular. Uh, that's great news. I'll have to do something with them. So, before the next episode, definitely time to wrap up now. Before the next episode, uh, I will try to... I'll get all these seeds planted. I'll try to build a structure for animals and see if I can get some animals up here. So they're actually loaded and active all the time while I'm at home. Home, sweet home. I'm just gonna plant all these seeds right now. Let's just do it. Let's just plant them. Let's not even hesitate. Some of them are gonna go on, on medium fertility soil. Wow. Got even more. Oh, let's just keep spilling over. It's not like I'm gonna have a huge variety of crops, right? Uh, put the eggs in the basement. Uh, yeah, so next time, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing, keep building and stuff. And, uh... Maybe... No, you're not the eggs. You're the eggs. 14 days. Cool. Um, yeah, get get animals set up, and then maybe next time we'll we'll go out and start looking for more copper and see if I can make my first set of armor. Awesome. For now, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time, and good night.